I got art, the topic art, so I decided to create my friend Natalie in the in this shoe. And I decided to cre um, connect both of the shoes by creating a guide to, to sort of have a balance with both of the shoes. And then I decided to add colors on top of their noses just to uh, symbolize art because art is really um, creative and really it doesn't have any limits to it. They say all art is inspired by what came before And when you reach up high you're standing on the shoulders of giants and Mr. Ordonia is our art teacher, he actually pushed us into things and he made art bigger than what everyone else thought it was. We've been winning contests, we did Chalk the Block, and so now we're doing the Vans Custom Culture Contest. And if we would win this, this would put us on the map for sure and show everyone that art is more than just drawing and pencils and erasing, that it's actually having creativity, you have to have um, technique, skill, and you don't have to come to Bel Air, like, even if you don't know how to draw, it doesn't matter. Um, my group and my team, some people did, came here not knowing how to draw, and they created these beautiful shoes. Uh, myself, I also have evolved from when I was a freshman. To, I never thought I would do something like this. So it would be like an amazing feeling. We would feel rewarded for all the work we've done, especially us seniors since our last year here at Bel Air. It represents local culture, and because we are in Texas, many of the things associated with that is cowboys and boots, obviously. And so since we are working with shoes, we decided to run with that idea of the boot but build on top of a tennis shoe, which is the theme of the competition, which is Vans shoes. So by combining the two, we made this boot here on top of a regular short Vans shoe with the spur and this like long leg with leather and the top part to make it look like a, a regular cowboy boot. So the really unique thing about this is that it, it does look like a cowboy boot now with the laces, but the fun thing is that you don't always have to be um, committed to the boot. If you do want to go for a simpler look, you can undo the laces here. And so this boot part is detachable, so if you're going for just a simplified look of this, you can wear just the bottom part of the shoe. Alright, if you finish the stitching so that it matches the side of the boot, it would kind of help. I'm hoping to make it to the top 50, and once we get top 50, as president of this year's art club, I plan to campaign as much as possible to get those votes here in El Paso to have the chance for me and my group of artists to go to New York and see if we have the chance to win to where they actually make our shoes nationwide and our art department would gain $50,000 to our account. So it would be pretty cool to have everybody help out and like help us vote to get those votes because that's all we needed. We made top 50. I'm pretty sure we'll make top 50 again this year. So if we get the votes here in El Paso, then we make it to New York.